Sell these products now. How's it going guys and welcome back to another video and welcome back to the channel. If you're new here, my name is Kyle and we go over everything related to Facebook Marketplace and Facebook Shops drop shipping. So if that's something you're interested in, definitely subscribe to the channel and also turn on post notifications. I feel like I haven't come out with one of these videos in a long time. I feel like it's been a couple months now. So I wanted to come out with just a qu quick, you know, short little video just kind of going over some hot products just to help you guys out. Obviously, you know, we're kind of closing up on the Christmas season now. Obviously, you know, to post Christmas products right now, it's it's a little bit behind. So now we're we're finally going to get back into you know q1 and you know just for for anyone that's new to this space and maybe hasn't been following us for a while our actually best quarter of this year was q1 of of this year so you know the next q1 coming right around you know once we get into january here we're very excited for we think it's going to be another good quarter also with them coming back out with the account health metrics that's also another plus thing starting to get back into the swing of things also you know they have their account seller fee you know coming in in june so we also have that coming so there's a lot of good things to look forward to and, and you know we think shops is going to be ramping up more and more and kind of getting back to how we were last q1 like i was talking about so i just kind of wanted to quickly run through three different products i want to give out and you know i say products but they really are you know they're they're niches of their own and you can get a ton of products outside of this and then of course you can go sub niches off of this so the first one i want to start with is the shower curtain sets i think we've talked about this before and if you're in our subscription website you definitely know about these and these sell really really well and it's it's something that i always kind of give an example to is always talk about this white curtain behind me and tell people don't just sell a white curtain but if this curtain had some cool design on it then sell that that makes it more of an impulse buy and it's a unique item so if you look up just shower curtain sets you'll see you know they have a shower curtain but they also have something to go on the toilet also mats underneath there so you know they, it's a little set they're usually pretty inexpensive as well right around like anywhere from 20 to about 40 dollars you can find them on amazon or walmart they're on there as well and then and then you can go ahead and list those and sell those usually we mark them up for about 10 to 15 dollars and they sell really really well again it kind of comes down to that impulse decision impulse buy you know people are seeing a design that they don't know where they can just go get and they're seeing it right there so they want to buy it right on the spot so that's definitely a super good one to get into and I definitely recommend that and again that's not just one product that's an entire niche of products and there's so many different designs and once you guys start looking at them you'll understand there's almost like an endless amount of different designs you can go for after that kind of similar to you know how there's so many different products after that is cereal containers which is the second product i want to talk about and that's again a whole niche you could even go into tupperware off of that but there's so many different type of cereal containers and just kind of look for them you know where they'll have where you can go ahead and put like a label on each cereal box and label which cereal is in it so look for those they'll come in sets of usually about anywhere from like three to sometimes even 12 a 12 pack of sets and usually the 12 pack kind of gets up close to like sixty dollars but if you look for kind Kind of like the the six pack that's where you can get around 20 30 dollars more low ticket that's where we get the bulk of our sales but we definitely sell the 12 packs as well so this is something that sells crazy good for us so both of those two i definitely recommend listing right away and listing a ton of those list about 10 to 15 of each you know and, and see how those those work and if you have multiple shops list them across all your shops see if they work on a specific shop again none of these products are guaranteed to work in your shop because every single shop's built differently with its own algorithm so don't just expect expect it you know to work in your shop right away but for the most part we've noticed they work in a good amount of shops and at least you can get some traction with it and maybe you can find a sub niche off of it that actually outperforms it so it's a place to kind of start for you and then hopefully find something really hot out of it and that does bring me into the third category of products this one isn't so much a uh, you know a niche of products there's a couple different ones you can use but at the end of the day you know there's not too many so it is kind of a specific product but it does sell really really well and it's something you know you just wouldn't really think of but a handheld printer so if you look that up you know it's a very small little printer that will print out pictures for you so and, and again you can kind of take it on the go and, and it's bluetooth so it's it's pretty cool again pretty inexpensive and it sells really well for us so as you've noticed you know a lot of these products are very low ticket items we try to stick towards there for a couple of reasons on facebook shops and marketplace you know people aren't trying to spend 200 
$300, $400. Will some people, of course, and you can sell those products. You know, some people do sell, you know, whether it's bed frames or whatever it is. But for the most part, we like to stay at a low ticket because we just see more success there. And also on top of that, you know, if you get a chargeback in for a product that you just sold for $300, you know, that's a big hit to take rather than you getting a chargeback for $25, you know, that, that you sold a low ticket item. It just doesn't hurt as bad. So, and, and especially the same way that we get the same amount of margins that we'll get on a $200 product that we'll get on a $15 product. We try to mark it up anywhere from about 10 to $20. So no matter the price. So it doesn't really change the margins for us. So that's why we try to stick towards low ticket and just avoid those huge claims. But obviously, you know, if, you, if high tickets working for you and it's been working for you, don't reinvent the wheel, continue to sell that. But maybe on a different shop, you try low ticket out a little bit and see if that works. I hope you guys can use these products and see a lot of success with them. And I'll see you guys in the next video.